tonight's episode of Training with Addy, we are going to attempt the impossible, and that is to get a good kill-death ratio when only using the crossbow on TDM. We're going to be working on our movement, we're going to be working on our accuracy, and we're going to be working on making that first shot count. So, William Tell, grab your bow and come join me, because we're going training. Well, greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Training with Addy. As always, uh, for a training video, this is not going to be a, a specific tutorial on a certain thing, but more or less unedited gameplay footage um, with me doing commentary over the top, explaining what I'm doing and why, and enabling you to kind of see the best and the worst um, of my play. Now, today, as you can see in front of me, we are using the crossbow. Now, this is a weapon which is reasonably tricky to use um, but I absolutely love it. This is not going to be a weapon where we're going to be dominating the team in any way shape or form and this is not the kind of weapon that I would recommend you use on a regular basis and in fact, in fact let's, let's just put this out there. Um, I'm an idiot. I'm trying to do a team deathmatch with just a crossbow um, but um, you can you can skip to the end and have a look at the final score if you want to see how I do and I'm going to be talking about um, kind of the what I do to try and get there. Now using a crossbow is a little bit like using one of those slug shots shotguns in that you've basically got one shot and that one shot has to count um, because the, the 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 time before you can shoot again is quite um, extensive now the for for a slug shotgun it tends to be bang bang something like that but for a crossbow whoa -oh, it's far worse than that the crossbow has a as a reload speed of if it, it feels about kind of like two or three seconds um, it is very very slow but unlike a shotgun of course a slug shotgun a crossbow is completely silent and I think what I really love about using the shotgun is the fact that when you get these kills it's that completely silent death and it's that one hit that one hit killed nature of it like the, the guys just do not know um, what has hit them and, and what is going on. Now the rules I'm playing by today, um, because I, I, I've got my own kind of personal rules on this, is that I have got to use the um, the crossbow as my primary weapon, but if at any point I get swarmed, um, after releasing my first crossbow bolt, I can quickly switch to the, um, the shotgun as a secondary weapon. But as soon as I have the ability to turn back to the crossbow, I, I, I will do so. Now why am I doing this, other than just for kicks and giggles? Well, um, I am not very happy with my gameplay in terms of my first shot hit statistics. I probably worded that quite badly, but what I mean is I quite often miss my first shot. Um, and it's only because I'm kind of bursting or, or maybe kind of doing a, a string of bursts in a row that I'm able to kind of take the enemy down. So what I'm doing here is I'm forcing myself to use a gun where the first shot is the most important shot. And I'm also using a gun whereby I've really, really got to take care of myself. Because if I get into the middle of a huge firefight, there is no way um, I am going to be able to survive in the same way that I might be able to with a... Um, with, a, with an assault rifle or, or, or something like that. Ow, ow, ow. Um, so um, I am also forcing myself to use the crossbow in that it's going to force me to think about my movement and play a lot more protectively as well. Now thinking back to last week's Training with Addy video when we were looking at uh, Bishy's uh, play from uh, Team Europe, um, he um, always has a very low death count uh, because he's so good at protecting himself. So um, if I'm going to have any kind of success with the crossbow in this particular video or this particular TV, I am going to have to um, learn to protect myself. Now I will fess up on this in that um, I didn't just pick up the crossbow and get um, a, a, a nice kill streak. I actually found using the crossbow um, very difficult until um, I was playing with some guys on TDM and one of them was uh, nice enough to suggest to me that I start using the balanced um, bolt. Um, it was a guy called Pester, so thank you very much for him. And he actually sent me some crossbow footage um, of himself playing as well. Now, the, the, what the balanced bolt does is it makes the bolt less powerful, um, but it makes the, the, the bullet drop, or the, the bolt drop, 
um, a lot less, uh, makes the bolt, the bolt drop a lot less basically. And I actually found that was an absolute godsend because I was firing the thing over and over and if unless I kind of managed to guess the um, the bolt drop exactly, it was it was it was really really difficult for me to get these kills. Whereas with the balanced bolt, I can more or less just aim for the head or maybe maybe just just be sure aim for the top of the head. And you'll see it at the distance here. They're, they're, they're not they're not amazingly close, but I'm more or less able to just aim for the top of the head and it will get a kill. Now, of course, the downside of the balance bolt is that it does less damage, but it still is a one-hit kill for a um, headshot. So my kind of view on this is is that with a crossbow, the chances are if you don't kill them with the first shot anyway, you're probably going to die. And as it has to be a headshot to get a one-hit kill anyway, there's no real disadvantage of it doing less damage. So if this thing did 50 damage and I shot them in the leg, they're going to turn around and shoot me. And if this thing did 30 damage and I shoot them in the leg, they're going to turn around and shoot me. So it doesn't really make any difference. So I might as well use the one that gives me the extra accuracy and that is going to make it easier for me to get these um, headshot kills. Now, um, if you haven't got the crossbow, by the way, um, you, um, you have to win three rounds of... Uh, scavenger mode, which I think came with the Aftermath DLC, and scavenger mode actually is a mode I find really useful for um, practicing various techniques, and I w I'd like to do a training with Addy video on scavenger um, in a bit, but you've got to win three rounds of that, which isn't too hard, if you just stick on a server for long enough, even if you can't win it, the team will hopefully uh, uh, w win three for you, and then to get the balanced bolt as on top of that, you actually don't need to win get kills with a crossbow, you need to get kills with sniper rifles, and then headshots with pistols, um, both of which are um, quite manageable to do. Now, of course, the crossbow is silent. Thinking back to the, the uh, suppression uh, tutorial that I did last week, which loads of you have um, uh, been, been enjoying, and thank you so much for your positive feedback on that, um, the, the, the crossbow is effectively another suppressed weapon. I'm able to kind of come into this little corner up here, and although I got taken down eventually, um, I was invisible for a while, and therefore able to kind of um, get a few kills. And um, the, the techniques that I talked about in that suppression video, such as flanking, getting behind people, taking alternative routes, um, not necessarily shooting as soon as you see a person, um, all of that very much applies to the crossbow. And in fact, especially the last one with the crossbow, um, Although I'm getting quicker, you do have to make sure you line up the shot properly because if you shoot them in the foot or the side or the arm, um, they aren't going down. It needs to be very high upper body or head if you want to get the one hit kill with a crossbow. Therefore, um, you've got to get used to just taking that extra second um, to line up your shot. Um, but then if you'd, once you have lined up that shot, you can take them down. Now my goal is, um, aside from... Um, just to kind of generally improving my gameplay here is to speed up the time it will take me to line up that first deadly shot and hopefully if I'm able to kind of do it with a uh, crossbow then I will also um, be able to do it with an assault rifle or whatever guns I might be planning on using. Now um, Bishy's video um, he was very, very good at keeping himself in cover um, and scanning points where he believed the enemy might be. So I've been trying to bring that to my gameplay and, of course, using the minimap a lot um, with the crossbow. And the minimap is absolutely brilliant for flanking um, because all you've got to do is look at where the, the red triangles are, look at the wide direction they're facing, look at where the... Um, uh, the dead bodies are, uh, we killed each other there, uh, looking at where the dead bodies are and you can kind of more or less paint a picture of the battle uh, zone before you get there. You know, if you can see, well there's a group of guys over there and they're shooting to the left, therefore if I pre approach them from this side, they're probably not going to be looking my way and that can enable you to get those kills and especially if you're using a suppressed weapon like I was in that, that last clip, you, perhaps you can get two or three kills um, before the, the enemy kind of really knows what is going on. Now I would absolutely love to hear from you guys if you managed to put together a an impressive kill death streak with a crossbow. Um, if you want to put, uh, talk about it in the comment section or even link me to a video or post it as a response to um, this particular video. But essentially the rules are well, what I'm playing here. You have to use your crossbow as your primary weapon. You can swap to something else. Um, if you're if you're getting if you're getting swarmed, but the first shot has to be the crossbow, and the vast majority of your kills have to be crossbow like. And I, <laughs> I just got done there by an invisible sniper who actually wasn't using a suppression one, but I ran forward and forgot to check my corners. Um, 
Now, one of the advantages of the crossbow that I really have found um, while, while um, kind of training for this particular video is, is the fact that it is can get these one-hit kills, and now I've got the balance bolt on, it is very accurate at long range, and kills that I actually might have not got with my assault rifle, or at least would have struggled to get with my assault rifle, I actually found a lot easier to get with the bow. Now, of course, I, did, I am missing an awful lot of shots as well, lining up shots, but then things like that, I might have been able to shoot me in the head with the assault rifle, but often once you often once you hit someone with that first shot they'll duck behind whatever cover it is or flan to the floor or um or, or something like that but on this one with the crossbow of course because you are silent and because it's a one hit kill um they don't necessarily have time to react or the ability to see where exactly where you're coming from on the minimap. So a situation like this um, piece of corrugated iron here where my team is kind of fighting all around me and there's big kind of uh, gunfights going over my head. Whereas I can kind of just poke my nose out and just go for a reasonably long distance shot. Um, actually suits the crossbow really really well <laughs> and actually it was only when I finally got flanked from the side um, that I was knocked out of that position. Um, now one of the things I really do love in, um, in, in Battlefield is getting a situation like that where uh, you've got a front line and working out how you're going to get through it. Um, so I'm back, I'm back where I was just a few seconds ago and I know that there's enemies in front of me um, and I love the, the challenge of can I break through this front line. It's the same when you get like enemies in a tower um, on the snow levels or things like that and you just kind of know uh, that you know exactly where they are and they know exactly where you're coming from and it's trying to work out the ways that you can get through and it might involve looking through another bit of cover, it might involve trying to flank them, it might involve uh, some grenade shots, you know, or it might involve faster reactions or better accuracy, but that this challenge of breaking through um, is, is, is really fun. And what I'm trying to do here um, is that I know the guys are on my right, and I'm just going to try, when, when I can, just move up a tiny little bit at a time, keeping an eye on that left-hand side. Um, if possible, if I can get there without them seeing me, that would be brilliant. But the idea is, like, is that, that they've been too hard to get from a distance, so if I can get up to them, I might just be able to take them down. So, here we go. There they are. And I completely failed that one, but you get the you get the general principle um, that I very nearly managed to knock them out of their um, defensive spot there, and it, it, it's a very very satisfying. Um, challenge I find in Battlefield when you are able to knock someone out that has been um, entrenched. It doesn't have to be well, someone, it can, it, can, it can be an entire squad. And that of course is the other advantage of um, uh, or, of teaming up with people that you can speak to on, um, on TeamSpeak is that you can all kind of move towards the same target and uh, you can call out where the various targets are and even kind of do various pincer maneuvers and things like that. But this is the interesting one I found because there isn't really a way to flank this one. Like I could go all the way around uh, via the swimming pool, but I think by the time I did that, this done that, this fight would be over anyway. So this is more a kind of situation where we've got lots and lots of different items, ob uh, different cover objects, and it's just going to be a case of um, trying to kind of move up piece by piece without being spotted. Remember always to spot your targets, whether or not you can take them down, because the crossbow is not going to be good at, at left, right, horizontal targets, but you can always spot them there, and I spotted that guy, and that actually alerted the two other teammates there to where they were, and um, they then took that target down, and with them taking that target down, that allowed me to move up, and it's almost like it's a team game, which is crazy. Um, now. Always, if you get a big cloud of smoke like that, just keep pressing the spot button over and over and over. Because um, I might not be able to get these guys, but I can keep hitting that spot button. And, and sometimes you'll get a little arrow pop up through the smoke. And if you get an arrow point up, throw, up th pointing up through the smoke, just kind of aim. It's it's kind of just below the triangle. Um, tends to be the correct point to... to um, to fire, but some, uh, sometimes you can actually surprise yourself, but by being able to, uh, hey, got him. Uh, sometimes you can actually surprise yourself by getting getting enemies that you can't even see, which is another tip I kind of got from that um, from that that training with Bish video about the idea of, of shooting through foliage, shooting through smoke, and things like that, and continuing firing even after an enemy has gone out of sight. Sometimes. And it appears that, sadly, the satisfaction of taking out that little lot has been taken away from us. But nevertheless, victoire, the Adipose! We have made it through their front line. I'm not going to take all of the credit there, because I think they were more or less good before I got there. But nevertheless, um, I did enjoy the challenge of getting through that. So now it's a case of a bit of a, bit of a reset. I saw a red... Yeah, there we go. I saw a red over here. So, um, as always, use that mini-map. I didn't have quite have time to... 
get the crossbow back there, so I was able allowed myself to break my rule, and I can this this very empty. Whoa! Now there's more of them. Shotgun. Two, three. Okay, let's get the crossbow back out. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. <laughs> oh, and I'm actually getting some abuse in the uh, in the chat window. There. Ah! Well, that was good. That was good. A nice bit of abuse in the uh, chat window, followed by followed by a rocket. Things, things. That's when you know you you're starting to get to the grips with the crossbow when you actually uh, uh, start receiving abuse for it, and people start playing dirty back on you. Um, now, um, when I was chatting to um, a Pester earlier, he was uh, recommending that when I use the crossbow, that I go for the scoped. Um, variety because the the, the scoped uh, not only is there just the crossbow and then the various different ammo types there's also two types of crossbow the normal crossbow and a scoped crossbow now I tend to stay away from any kind of scoped weapon just because um, oh I hate them and <laughs> you know someone gets up close to you and then you just don't really know it. you can't you can't move around fast enough um, but it did occur to me especially while w watching the footage of him um, uh, playing through is that by using a scoped crossbow you actually have an opportunity to kind of arm yourself for all ranges um, so you could kind of run around with a uh, a bullpup weapon or a carbine for or a, a very fast firing assault rifle like a uh, like a FAMAS or an F2000 um, and then you could have a a suppressed pistol as your secondary maybe a G18 to be quite fast or um, and then you could have a scoped crossbow as your third weapon um, for those long range uh, for those long range shots so it would actually enable you to be uh, um, the, the, uh, the 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 ultimate all-rounder able to take out the shots at targets at, at short distance medium distance long distance and silently now obviously the disadvantage is you're always carrying the crossbow and if you didn't know this um, pay heed the crossbow goes in your third or fourth um, slot it doesn't go where your secondary weapon does if you so if, if you're assault and you're playing with a crossbow you've got no med kit if you're um, support you've got no c4 if you're a uh, recon you've got no tugs and if you're a an engineer you've actually got no rocket launcher so um, you, you you won't be able to take all your cool gadgets, but you can take three different weapons, which might be quite a cool way of playing if you want to if you're trying to be a kind of a jack of all trades um, type player. But in this map, um, I really didn't feel like I needed the scoped version of this um, by just aiming just a tiny little bit above uh, where the uh, the opponent was. I, I was able to get most headshots that I wanted to, um, but I, I may well try that loadout for next week next week's training with added video and kind of see if I can pull off a loadout uh, which kind of has the best of all ranges well the music of doom is coming in so it's gonna be time to find out how we have done and the final score is your team one hurrah and we have come in second place on our team with 36 skills and 18 deaths um, so not quite enough exactly on two to one which is pretty pretty good um, but I did as always I did find that the the weapon I was using had changed the movement I did I, I, I held further back than I would naturally with um, assault rifles and I really really worked the cover but I think that by doing so my overall play um, is going to improve so there you go I have launched the crossbow challenge um, if you think you can get a better KD ratio than that Prove it with some footage, and um, I'm more than happy to uh, link you in the uh, attached videos to this. Thanks for watching. Um, do like the video if you have enjoyed this, and uh, do subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more Battlefield tutorials, Let's Plays, uh, uh, mod videos, and loads more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.